Hey, New Life Church family. Well, I know that you, much like myself, are waiting for the Premier's announcement. The Premier announced today that the province of Ontario is going into the gray zone. And we're going to talk a little bit about that because there's some changes to the gray zone that affects churches and places of worship. But before we do that, I want to talk about Good Friday. Good Friday, nothing changes. We're still doing a 10 a.m. service. We are going to be live streaming that service. We're going to be doing communion in that service. And so if you're watching online, we'd ask you to prepare that. But if you're going to be in person, we'll have communion ready for you. I love Easter as we just reflect on how the cross and the sacrifice that Jesus made reconciles us with Christ and the hope that we have because of that. And so I'm just so thankful that we still get to celebrate Good Friday service uh, the way we normally would. Now, going into Easter Sunday and the Sundays beyond that in the gray zone, here's what we've identified. We need to go into 15%. The premier has asked us to do 15%. So we recognize as a church that we have more people in the 11 o'clock service than we do in the 9 a.m. service. But if we were to split that down the middle, if some people moved over from the 11 and went to the 9, we actually will still be within our 15%. So what does this mean? If you go to register online and the 11 o'clock service is full, we'd ask you to consider moving to the 9 a.m. service. We're also making one other change, is we're not gonna be running kids ministry while we're in the gray zone. This was a decision we made just so that we as a church could be prudent and safe and make sure we're doing our part. And so we've decided that kids ministry won't be happening in person in the gym, but we will still be putting the videos online, which we all love and I know the kids love. Now, one thing that we really need you to do, registration has never been more important. Because for us to make this work, we need you to register. Now, I've been talking to Becky, and she says a few people don't register every week. They just kind of show up. And we love you, and it's okay that you've done that. But going forward with the 15%, it's really, really, really important that you register. So if you don't have a computer and you're not able to register uh, by computer, please call the office, and we will register you, register for you. But we need you to register because it's going to help us just navigate this next season. Listen, church family, we have been talking about how, it is, how we need to be grateful, and we've been doing 20 days of gratitude. And so I am just so thankful for the God we serve. I'm so thankful for the church family that we have. I'm so thankful for the city that we get to be a part of. I'm so thankful for our premier. Of all the premiers in Canada, Doug Ford has stood up for places of worship like no other premier. He has gone out of his way because he sees the significance of what we offer. And what is that? We offer hope. We offer Jesus. We offer, with everything going on, a place where people can come and just really feel the presence of God that will change their lives. And so, church family, I know as we walk into the gray, again, it's going to just be difficult. But we are able to see God's hand in everything. And so continue to go with us. If you have any questions, please contact the office. But we look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Good Friday. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Sunday, it's going to be 9 or 11 o'clock. And our 11 o'clock service will be online. And I'm telling you, you do not want to miss Easter Sunday. We have a lot planned. The team has put a lot of hard work as we should share stories of what God has done in people's lives because we serve a God that just restores, makes things new again. He is such a good, good father. And so we love you and we will see you this weekend.